this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Not exactly sure where God is leading me on this, but I saw Psalms 5 verse 11. So I'm going to read it and we will see what God takes us from here. Anoint Lord and lead in Jesus name. Verse 11. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. Well, I think sometimes when we look to people, we want their opinions to be favorable towards us. So we find ourselves defending ourselves and trying to prove ourselves and 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 uh, trying to seek their approval for us because we want to be liked you know we want people to like us we want to be accepted we want to be included well there are times when things don't go our way and when people all of a sudden start to, they seemingly start to turn on us or there's a lie that's been spread about us or some false accusation or misunderstanding. In our own, we will do everything possible to prove that thing a lie because we don't want anyone to think poorly of us. But there are times when God is telling you, shh, let me handle this. Don't, don't try to prove your way. Don't try to argue your way out of it. Let me handle it. And I will. Do you trust me? Do you trust me to not only vindicate you, but do you trust me to validate you? I will defend you. But first, you must Turn to me and trust me. I am the Lord your God. I will fight your enemies for you. Step back. Get behind me. And let me fight this battle. The battle is the Lord's, not yours. Now, I ask you, this is Pat's two cents. I ask you, do you really trust God? Do you trust God enough to walk away and let everybody look at you with bug eyes and, and, and shaking heads wondering, ooh, how could she do that? How could he have gotten away with that? I didn't know he was like that. And they're forming opinions of you. And you're smelling pretty rotten right now. Hmm? Your reputation is stained. Do you really trust God to and walk away and stay behind God and allow him to handle this battle? Do you really trust God? Or are you going to go around handling this, setting people straight? I didn't. When did I tell confronting people? What would make you tell a lie like that? You know, what are you going to do? How are you going to handle this? Let me challenge you. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. He shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Don't try to put this fire out. You don't have the equipment. You will make matters worse and cause explosions. Leave it alone. In the name of Jesus. God's speaking to somebody. And I hope you're hearing him. Because when God gets through. Validating you. And reaffirming you. In front of everyone. Hmm, you be sitting pretty. And you be smelling like a rose. Even though you feel like you've been burnt. Pretty badly. No. 
you will be healed and you will come out smelling like a rose and everyone else will start feeling like because God will make sure the truth will come out but you must be still and know that he is God alright God bless you as you trust <laughs>